Hello again, so we are in the data structure course and we've reached this exercise. So we need to implement a queue using two stacks. So if you followed me in exercise, uh, the exercise two, so we have implemented a stack using two queues. So now we are implementing a queue using two stacks. So let's go, let's see an example what we can do with that. So we will be inspired by the previous exercise. So we need to uh, implement a queue but using two stacks so uh, let's say for example that whenever we enqueue an element here we will push the element there so in queue it comes to uh, to push so uh, what about uh, to check uh, to create uh, a queue so to create a queue is the same as create a stack so here we need two stacks so we'll see it in a while and what about uh, to check if it's empty we check if the uh, this stack is uh, empty to check if the queue is full we check if the left stack is uh, full so this is those are the easiest parts so what about the front or the uh, the queue element so if i want to check the front element i need to in queue, DQ and EQ all the elements in the right uh, stack, and then I will get the top element, uh, the top element of the right stack or the last element uh, popped from the left stack. So uh, this is for the top element. However, for the pop, in order uh, for sorry to DQ, I need to whenever I'm popping this last element, I should not uh, push it into the right stack. So let's go. So I have here the implementation of uh, a stack. For the queue, we have used two stacks, one called left, one called right. And here we have the queue, the, all the prototypes of the function of the ADT queue. So to create a queue, we need, uh, since we have said, we have in the queue uh, two stacks. So we need to initialize both stacks. So queue dot L, let me check again if there's in the queue called L and L, right. So in the queue, there's two stacks, left and right. And so I create a stack here. And again, for queue.r, I will create also the stack. And then I will return queue. queue. As for the empty, I need to check if the left stack because we opted for uh, pushing elements into left stack is empty stack for a q dot left stack as for the is full again it's the same we check if the uh, stack the left stack is full so it's is full stack okay it's full stack for q dot i what about in queue? So we have said that in queue we will do will do that. We will push in the left uh, part. You can you can for example decide for in the in the left one in the in queuing to put the uh, uh, last element on the bottom. So for example here you want to try this one. So here the in queue operation would be conversion. So you need to do this pop and pops and however the dequeuing or the front one you just check the top element which is on the top here so we can either choose, choose this implementation or the other but at the, um, in the same ways you need to write uh, one function that is a bit complicated so here we chose and that the in queue would be uh, easier so if is full queue so if it's full it means that I cannot in queue so if the uh, queue is full I will return 0 otherwise I will push where in the left one so address of Q arrow L capital L D element E and then I will return 1 so this is the easiest part however for dequeuing so to dequeue I need to the, uh, pop all the element and then push it in the right one however I should not push the bottom element of the lo uh, left stack so we need an element E and then again if it's empty it means that I cannot DQ if it is empty Q the reference Q so I return 
zero and then I need to loop over the left stack so as long as you have a dump element in the uh, Q arrow uh, left and I will put it into the element uh, E so here we need an address so I will pop pop Q arrow L And I will push the element into QROR. So again here, I should pay, atten pay, pay attention to the fact that I will not push all the elements. I will push all the elements except the last element. So either outside here I can make a pop or this is one solution. So I will pop from R. This is one solution, or I will check here if is empty stack of QRO L. So if it's not empty, I will push. If it's empty, I will do nothing. So if I pop the element from L and then I check, I, I check the stack and I find it empty, I will not push the element into the right stack. Then what should I do? So I have removed one element I have popped one the, the bottom element of the left stack then I will loop over the right stack and push back all the uh, elements in the left one so as long as I have a top I will DQ from QROR and then I will in Q it's not in Q it's here pop and then I will push into the left stack so uh, q arrow l the element e and at the end i will return one yes so let us repeat so if the q is empty i cannot dq i will take all the elements from the left and push it into r except when the except for the bottom element so when the uh, for the last element when i uh, pop the last element i will not enqueue it i will not push it sorry into the right stack then i will loop over the right uh, stack and then i will pop the element from the right stack and then push it into the left stack so what about front? So front, I just need to uh, DQ uh, the elements and then I will uh, check the element on the top of the stack. So let us uh, copy those and modify some of it. So we have an element here. If is empty, Q, I will return a zero. As long as I have a top element in the left. So here we use dot because Q is a normal variable. It's a structure. So I will pop and then I will try to push so here since I'm copying the queue there's no need to push there's no need to return all the elements so just I am popping popping uh, popping and then I just need the last element so what I would do is that I will remove that I will remove also that so I'm just popping the uh, po topping and popping the element so at the end I will find the element in E. So we have encountered some stuff before. So let's run. So this is it. So I'm just popping the elements from the left stack because it's by copy. So I'm copying the stack here. I'm just checking the stack. I'm not modifying any of the stacks in the queue. So let's see if it's working here and see if we have some errors in the pointer. So of course, so here we have push. So push the address is here. Let's run again. So it's here arrow, we have minus, so it happens. Run again. We have element E, so it's duplicated. Run. Ah, we have here q.l, it's here q.l. Let's run. We have also some it's dot here so we are popping so we have the top element 
So while top Q dot L address of E, so there's no address because it's already in, a, in an element. So let's run. So yes, and we end with one, four, minus six, and ten. So uh, this is for the exercise. I will repeat it uh, quickly. So we have in this implementation for a uh, queue, we have used two stacks. So when creating the queue, we have initialized two empty stack. For the empty queue, we have checked if the stack, the left stack is empty. And for the full queue, we have checked if the left stack is full. For in queuing, we have pushed in the left stack if there is room. For the DQ, we have in the case where there is elements, we have popped all the elements from the left stack and push it into right stack except for the bottom element and then we have uh, popped all the elements from the right and push it back into the left one. However, for the front, we, do, we don't need to do all the stuff. We just need to pop all the elements from the left stack in order to find the bottom element. And this is it for the exercise. So if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write to me. I know that implementation questions are a bit tough, but it's okay. So you need to train yourself. And again, uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notifications. And again, thanks for watching.